I said social, man. Loyalty over royalty, y'all niggas know the vibes. Whoop it, bitch, I'm outside of some movie. Huh. Blue cheese, I swear I'm addicted to blue cheese. I gotta stick to this paper like blue sleep. Huh. Bitch, I'm about my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back, she a groupie. She just swallow all my kids in a two seat. Yeah. Swagged out, familiar, we bringing them gas out. I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house. Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out. I'm back on my bullshit, spin back with a full clip. They say I'm moving ruthless, and my shooters they shooting. I'm gonna take her to group Chris. I get the breeze, then it's adios If I'm with your trees, then she give it throat When I see police, then we gang low That's another piece, that's another zone Ice in the VVs, now she down to get tree I got all this water on me like Fiji Bitch, I'm posted up with hats and the sleazies Smoking the Zaza, it go straight to the Mata Then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha-cha Open his lata, then he dancing my chata Smoking the Zaza, it go straight to the Mata Then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha-cha Then I'm open his lata, then he dancing my chata Whoop, dude What's going on guys? It's been a minute since I've done one of these videos. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me well enough. Actually, I got a new camera. It's a Sony a6400, so I'm testing it out. I have a Rode mic on top, um, but it is kind of windy. I'm hoping the wind jammer is helping at least a little bit. I want to make a video. Obviously just wanted to familiarize myself with the camera, um, but I also wanted to share. I got a couple updates since my last videos um, that I put up, seeing it's been a couple months. I've gotten a couple comments on my initial build video for my uh, my current Jeep regarding the axles. And yes, they are the factory Rubicon Dana 44 axles front and rear. I have not done anything to them. Um, I have been on a couple wheeling trips now since that video was initially posted. Um, I went up to, to River Rock, I've been over to Ocala. Um, but while I was up in River Rock, I actually I had my first issue with the axles and that was I bent a rear axle um, shaft on my passenger side. It bent the, the flange on it and so basically the way I diagnosed it was I could tell driving it felt a little different, felt kind of weird. I had almost, um, like all, all the wheels were, were tracking right but I could feel in that back passenger side it almost felt like it was had a little bit more play in it, like it was almost like a bigger tire. Um, and so I felt it, like I said, when I was driving and I ended up aiming my passenger mirror down at it so I could get a look at it while I was going and you could kind of see it in the rear view, kind of doing something like that. Um, and so I ended up replacing it with a Spicer Parts um, axle shaft and I was going to film a video for that but I'd never done anything like that before because I was actually gonna do the work myself. Um, I work construction so I'm good with tools but when it comes to auto stuff I tend to take it in and, and get it done um, but after talking to a couple people they said it's a common issue to have so I was like oh, you know what I have the time let me go ahead and do it myself and um, and see it, it wasn't anything too challenging it, it took a couple of hours um, if it if and when it happens again I'll, I'll be sure to video it so I can show you guys kind of the process of how I did it um, but just basic tools jacks jack stands um, but like I said, that's the only issue that I've had to this date as of now. I haven't done, um, I guess I haven't taken it wheeling since that incident. Um, so it's been a little while. I need to get back out on the trails here eventually. Um, but yeah, so other than that, the axle has been handling really, really well. I haven't had any other issues with them or with the Jeep for that matter. Um, but like I said, I told you guys I keep you updated because I know there's some of you guys out there that you can't afford $15,000 or whatever it is for, for a set of one tons for your Jeep and you're wanting to know what your Dana 44s can handle if you got the Rubicon model or you bought somebody's takeoffs um, when they upgraded to one ton. So again, no trusses, no reinforcements. I haven't re-geared anything. They are completely stock with the exception of the, the rear axle shafts now. Um, but, but yeah, so I wanted to, again, make this video so I can kind of play with my camera, get the settings down. I think hopefully it's gonna be good quality. Um, recording it, looking at the playback, it looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, same with sound. Like I said, it's kind of windy out here. Hopefully, you guys can hear me well enough. Um, I won't know anything until I go in and start editing. But let me know if, if you guys like this type of video more or less, or, or what you guys want to see. Um, work's been crazy, but that's a good problem to have, I guess, this year with everything the way it's been. Um, I hope everybody had a good Christmas, and I'm hoping that everybody has a great, prosperous New Year, and that hopefully we can start going back to normal here eventually. If you are new to the channel, thank you for watching. If you are coming back, thank you for the support. I truly appreciate it. If you're not already, feel free to subscribe. Not gonna force you to. Um, I try to post whenever I feel like it. I, I'd like to get more in a routine with this, but again, it's kind of in the spur of the moment when I when I get the camera out and start shooting and, and feel like editing a video. Um, so again, thanks for the support. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know you came and saw it. Uh, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.
Whoop, dude.